Hi girls. With my YouTube videos, I really want to be providing content that is super relevant and super comforting for you at this moment as you transition through a not such great period of your life when you're suffering from these hormonal imbalance symptoms, whether it's polycystic ovarian syndrome or another hormonal imbalance disorder, or whether you've just come off the pill and you don't actually really know what's going on with your body. This is why I am here because I went through a really, really hard time with my own health battles with polycystic ovarian syndrome, and it just felt like I couldn't find the answers I was looking for, and I didn't really have anyone to guide me to tell me that everything was going to be okay and that my body was going to heal and to give me the steps that were lovingly going to guide me back to good health. So this was my mission. I've mentioned this in my other videos I had a really rock bottom moment where I was just feeling so depressed and so hopeless and so alone. And I promised myself, I made an agreement this day that when my symptoms all went away, there was a part of me that was fearful that would never go away. But I said, when they all go away, I'm going to dedicate my time and my energy and all of my love to the women who are going through what I'm going through right now because this is such a difficult thing and women need to be loved and supported through this transition because it's really, really scary when you lose your cycle, you're not menstruating and you have all of these crazy symptoms that are completely tearing you away from your former body and the way that you used to look. This is a really scary process and I don't think any of us are mentally prepared for what actually is happening with our body. So I create these videos to be here for you, to show up for you and support you and to show you that everything is possible and that your body absolutely will heal. And so in saying that, I also really want you to give me feedback on what you're really suffering with at the moment because of course I want to be providing content that's most relevant for you and so I always look inside my heart and think what was I really struggling with that I really just wanted to find like the perfect video on that would have really helped me and so that's always like acne, hair loss, the symptoms of course and healing and how to de-stress and so these are the things I create videos on but of course please give me feedback so I can provide content that is relevant for what you're going through. So in saying all of that, um, today I want to talk about the unofficial ways to heal your body from what you're going through right now, whatever your hormonal disorder is, whether it's PCOS, whether you're suffering from another um, health problem, health crisis at the moment. This is relevant for everyone. And so these things I'm going to be mentioning in the video, they're not going to be discussed by any doctor or any nutritionist, and you're not going to read about it in any book because these are things that people don't really speak about enough. And I know for a fact all of these things I'm going to mention, there are five different things that I really, really want you to think about. And if it resonates with you, please put it into practice because I know that it really helped me and I know that I needed all of these things in order to completely heal my body. And if you aren't familiar with the rest of my videos, I had terrible, terrible cystic acne. I was suffering from crazy hair loss, um, weight gain. Uh, I had absent periods for 14 months at a time sometimes. Um, and a lot of pain and uh, a lot of depression and anxiety because it was just too much for me to handle. And um, I healed all of these things. I now have a regular cycle. Um, the my I haven't had an ovary um, sonogram recently, but the last one I had one earlier this year, um, all of the cysts were nearly gone and um, all of the cysts on my right ovary were completely gone. And this was the ovary that was very painful for me and I've actually had a cyst rupture on it. So this was a huge achievement for me. So please, please, I say all of these things to uh, inspire you to try out the, the tips that I'm going to offer in today's video. So the unofficial ways I can offer you that will absolutely heal your body and will accelerate your healing process, leaving you feeling absolutely amazing. Uh, the first one is very important, which is 
seeing all of your symptoms as messengers and becoming an investigator and trying to really connect the dots between what is going on in your body. So this is watching your symptoms and it's going to differ for every woman. Uh, it's going to be different in every case of polycystic ovarian syndrome or hormonal imbalance. But for me, um, I was really observing after a while patterns that were playing out with my acne, my hair loss, my pain, and when my cycle came, when my period came. And so I absolutely noticed, and I mentioned this in some of my other videos, um, go watch the video, um, The Silent Killer Loneliness and what it's doing to your health. I noticed absolutely when I was feeling lonely, sad or stressed or depressed, any of these things, my acne was flaring up so much, as was the cycles of my hair shedding. That was also getting a lot worse as was the pain that I was experiencing, especially on the side of my right ovary. Um, very, very painful. And all of these things were flaring up a lot more when I was feeling certain emotions or I was going through certain things, whether that was at work or whether it was in my relationship uh, or whether it was spending too much time alone. Um, you know, we, we tend to isolate ourselves. We want to clean eat and we want to keep ourselves healthy. So we think I'll keep myself at arm's length from everyone. But during these times is actually when my symptoms were getting a lot worse. And it took me many months to put this together and to see the pattern playing out. And it was oftentimes I got out of the city to go watch my boyfriend play baseball when I was eating tons of crap and I was drinking alcohol and I was having late nights. This was when I would get my period and my skin was really clearing up and I was feeling really good. And so I was thinking, why is this happening? I'm eating like crap. I'm staying up late. I'm drinking alcohol. So this just shows you what your emotions are doing to your body and how it's accelerating or stopping you from healing. So I want you to become a little bit of an investigator and watch these patterns and cycles play out and even document them and see what's going on in your life on an emotional level and how this is affecting the healing of your body. Number two in the um, natural ways to heal your body is really, really showing up as yourself authentically because a lot of women all over the world, especially women suffering from hormonal imbalance, are people pleasers. I'm sure you are familiar with this term. People pleasing is when you put the needs of others before your own. And this doesn't necessarily just mean being a super generous person and going above and beyond to help other people. It could literally be staying in certain situations or friendship circles or um, working environments because, or even just like, you know, staying too late on Friday night at like work drinks or something because you're thinking, well, what if, what if people judge me for leaving or can I leave this early or um, I don't want to hurt this person's feeling or it's always just on like an emotional and like energetic level, putting other people before yourself and thinking about how you're being perceived more so than thinking about how you are feeling in this moment. So really, really learn how to authentically be yourself and don't be afraid of people not liking you. Like we need to let this go. This is such an integral part of healing the body, believe it or not, because if we're not authentically showing up as ourselves, then this is just creating more stress in the body. I know inauthenticity was keeping me sick because it was an underlying stress to my body and this underlying stress is happening because we're not living in alignment with truth, not just the truth of everything, but the truth of who we are as a person. So this is absolutely slowly eroding away because it's releasing cortisol into the bloodstream. So being yourself and stopping what caring what other people think is an incredibly healing thing because you start to just stop caring and you start to put yourself first and thinking like, actually my health is more important than any of this right now. And um, then things start to happen. You start to see that your body starts to heal. So this is a really important step. Um, just learn how to not care what other people think as much. And then meditations were another one that really, really helped me with different things. So my acne was really terrible. I'm going to upload some before pictures so that you can just understand the scope of what I was dealing with. I also stopped taking pictures when it got to its worst because I was that depressed about it. 
So um, my acne was pretty terrible. It was very, very painful cystic acne. And um, this was my most extreme symptom. I just, I needed it to go away. I really needed it to get better because I couldn't even sleep at night and I couldn't concentrate at work. And so I would meditate on this and I would visualize when my skin starts to get better. And I would do the same with my hair loss. Hair loss is something we really don't envision ever getting better, but it will. I promise you. And you need to start visualizing this because you need to start calling this reality in. And it is absolutely reality. Your hair isn't going to be shedding forever. This is just a symptom of bad health. And then another one, meditation, is also just meditating with your womb whenever you're feeling pain. And, you know, it's just as simple as just sitting here with your hands on your womb space and sending love to this area. I used to do this for my um, my right ovary when I was feeling a lot of pain in this area. I would just send love to this ovary and just meditate with it. And honestly, it helps so much and um, on the short term and also on the long term basis. So, you know, it's really meditating with your body is as simple as just sitting quietly with your hands on an area and just sending loving thoughts to this area. This was definitely an acceleration with my healing process. So give this a shot. Um, and then mirror work is very, very potent when you're trying to cultivate self-acceptance because when we are suffering from these symptoms, it's sometimes really, really hard for us to look in the mirror at ourselves and to love what we're seeing. We feel a lot of anger, resentment, hatred, judgment, criticism, but even if you're not liking what you're seeing in the mirror, it's really important to learn how to cultivate unconditional love and infinite compassion for what you're going through right now because your body is just a reflection of your lifestyle over the past how many decades your body is doing exactly what it's been told to do so just love it and just know that it's doing the best it can and that it knows how to heal itself on its own and your body is the driving the car but you're just adding the fuel. So your body knows what it's doing. And so just like appreciate this and just know that it's doing absolutely the best it can. And if you just keep on adding the fuel, then your body will heal itself. And so judgment, removing any judgment is really, really important right now because judgment is also a huge, powerful disconnection from source and universal energy because it's creating separation and source universal energy is healing energy. This is energy that heals the body in a really accelerated way. So just learn how to drop any judgments for what's going on with your body right now. And instead, just learn how to cultivate acceptance to what is. And um, the last thing that I can suggest is finding things that you love to do that put you into this flow state and that when time stops, when you're doing this, so whatever it is, you may not even know what this is. For me, this was finding dance and ecstatic dance. If you live in like a metropolitan city, Google your city ecstatic dance and see if there's anything happening. This is just like meditation and movement. It's just um, getting energy moving in the body. Although, you know, this may not be your cup of tea. So find what is. Uh, it could be, you know, going for hikes in nature or it could be writing or painting or you know, gardening or any of these things, yoga, like just find whatever it is that time stops when you're doing it and you're just having the best time because this is such an incredibly healing thing for your body because it's releasing all of the hormones and chemicals you need to be accelerating the healing process right now. So just, you know, even if you're having a really hard time at work or you're having a hard time in a relationship you're in, you know, whatever it is, just prioritize finding space for the things that you love. And then it's going to balance out some of the other not so positive things that are happening in your life right now. And all of these things are unofficial because people don't talk about it enough, but they are absolutely so important for healing your body. So I'll write a follow-up blog on this with a little bit more information Although just give it a go and put some of these things into practice because looking back on it, I know that I needed all of these things to really heal all of my symptoms and to bring back my period and to stop the hair loss and stop the acne and all of these things. So 
give it a go and um, leave me a comment. And again, uh, please let me know if there's anything in particular you want me to film about. Okay. I love you lots and I'll speak to you soon. Mwah.